Hi everyone, I'd like to do a quick demo of an Arduino project I've been working on. It's a word clock and a basic mode clock. Um, a couple of other modes uh, using a 32 byte LED matrix. It runs e using an Arduino Nano, can use a Uno or other ones. Uses a DS3231 RTC module. I've added a couple of extra things like a BH1750 light sensor and a BME280 uh, environmental sensor. I'll explain what they do uh, later on. Um, I've never heard of Arduino until a couple of months ago when I came across the uh, project, project that Nick did for this original code for the clock. I've been modifying it. I think this is, is brilliant what Nick did. Um, I'll be posting this on, on GitHub, the code. Um, it's almost done, just need to make a few tweaks. Um, just do a quick demo of all the functionality. So, right, let's hold this steady. So the fourth button sets the display to either be permanently on, so it never turns off using the light sensor. It permanently turns off. And normal mode, which will come on in a second, uh, which um, allows the light sensor to deactivate the the display uh, if it's night time and you want to go to bed. Bed, uh, you don't want to uh, interrupt your sleeping patterns with some bright LEDs shining in your face. Um, these settings can be changed through the through the buttons. So first, of all, I'm going to show what the third button does. So this calls the BME280, shows the temperature, the humidity, and the pressure. Uh, I've got a 24.5, what did it say? 25.3, close enough. And then you have this one here, which shows the date. And this is the menu that I've modified. We've got small font. We've got slide mode. These are all standard, I haven't changed any of these. And you have words. I just need to make a few tweaks to this. Add things like quarter past, quarter to and so on. And then if I go into setup. You can set uh, random clock mode, which is default, right? You can set random font. Uh, you can adjust the font. Uh, so if I go into font, uh, let's do font number seven. And then go back to basic mode. Uh, it's quite bright in here. Can't see the display properly. Um, so that's a different font. There's a total of seven fonts to choose from. When you put it on random font mode, it automatically changes the font every every few hours. Uh, what else have we got? You can go back into setup. And you can set the auto light sensor to be off. I'll explain that is. I've just turned it off. Uh, I'm going to turn it back on. I can see what I'm doing, set up. Uh, where's the light sensor? So the light sensor's back on. What this does is it automatically adjusts the brightness um, when it's uh, the, depending on the ambient light conditions. So if it's an evening and you don't really want it really bright in your, in your, in your if you've got any living room or something like that. So I'm just going to close the blinds and it should go dim. It's 15 levels of brightness. I'm just going to give it a bit more shadow. Just got my hands over here. There you go. So it's probably gone to one of the lower settings. I'm going to move my hand away. And then I'm going to open the blinds. And it, it's already gone up. It should go up a bit more. 
it's very difficult to see with a smartphone camera. It's on maximum brightness now, I think. It is very sunny outside. Um, it also has a function where, um, obviously you can disable this, which I showed earlier, uh, you can completely turn the display off if it's night time. So I'm just going to cover the light sensor. So it turns the display off and when morning comes, move my hand away, it turns back on. Obviously you can deactivate all these settings. So I hope you find this useful. Um, let me know if, uh, if you make this. I'm going to post it on the um, uh, Arduino project pages. Thank you for watching.